Did you know? You can now attach files to your Kansas 811 locate requests when you process them through iTick. Here's how it works. Begin a routine ticket and fill it out as you normally would. At the bottom of the page containing the Start Date Information section, you will find an additional button labeled Attachments. Clicking this button will bring up a window labeled Select Files to Upload. Click the Choose File button and use your computer's browser to select which file you would like to attach. You can choose to attach map images, text files, or photos of the job site. Anything you deem necessary. Member utilities who receive their tickets electronically will be able to access this information through a specialized link contained in the ticket information we send them. You can also enter a brief description of the file you are attaching. Please note that adding an attachment does not replace the ticket requirements of the One Call Center. Excavators must provide sufficient marking instructions and driving directions to fully identify the boundaries of the proposed worksite. Some member companies may not be able to receive the attachment, so the ticket text must be complete. Please also note that attachment information will only be sent out to those members with compatible receiving equipment, and only if an attachment is included when a ticket is first entered. Attachments included after a ticket has been submitted are for the excavator's records only, and will not be sent to member utility companies. Please also note that attachments are not private, and should not contain proprietary information of any kind. When you are ready, click the Continue button and proceed to complete the ticket normally. It's that easy.